So we have special right triangles to talk about today. So let's go ahead and derive some of the information about special right triangles by starting with this example. So this is a um, isosceles triangle, right? Which means it has two equal sides. And it's also a right triangle. So this one's very special. Um, we can find the third side by doing Pythagorean theorem where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we get 50 equals c squared, and the square root of 50 then, we can um, make a tree, do whatever you need, but regardless, there's a 25 that can come out. So c is really five square root two. Okay, and because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that the base angles are equal to, let's say this is like x, well, a triangle has 180 degrees. So we could set up an equation, something like this, right? Ones that we've done before, um, which means that X is 45 degrees. So this is actually our, um, our 45, 45, 90. Okay. And the general setup is you have two legs and the legs are equal and you have a hypotenuse. And the rules are for 45, 45, 90, is that the hypotenuse, as we can see here, it's five square root two, and that's coming from a five. So all you do is you multiply the leg times square root two. That's like kind of it. That's the one thing you really need to know. Um, so the leg is the leg, and the hypotenuse is the leg times square root two. Okay? So with something like this, the leg is nine, and then this is nine square root two, just because the hypotenuse is the leg nine times square root two. Not much work to do, right? Okay. Um, here we also see we have a 45, 45, 90. We got the legs and the one formula we have right here can be used to find the leg. So the hypotenuse is six, we could divide both sides by the square root of two. So the leg is six over square root two, which we could stop, but it wants simplest form. So remember our trick is to multiply top and bottom by the square root of two. Basically whatever's down here, because this forces this then to equal two, because the square root of two squared is two. So the final answer here for the leg is three square root two, and they're both three square root two. Let's um, drive the other special right triangle and its information. So if this is four, and this is four square root three, let's solve for C again. And we'll solve for this angle, I'll call this X, and this I'll call this Y. Okay, so again, we could set up Pythagorean theorem this is 16, c squared. And um, 4 square root 3 times 4 square root 3 is also 4 times 4 and square root 3 times square root 3. That's because with multiplication, it doesn't matter the order that you multiply stuff. So this is actually 16 times 3, which is 48, which makes this a perfect square of 64. So c is 8. Works out really nice, special, if you would say. Um, and then with X and Y, we could use trig, right? We could say that for the X, for just this part of the picture, let's use the initial stuff they gave us. This would be um, tangent is opposite over hypotenuse, or I'm sorry, opposite over adjacent, that's tangent. So we could use a little um, tangent inverse which that's really square root 3 underneath um, but if you type that in you get exactly 60 okay so which means that y needs to be 30 degrees so that your right angle is 90 and all that adds up to 180 
So what you need to know then is that this is a 30, 60, 90. And um, this is the, the uh, short leg, and this is the long leg, and this is the hypotenuse. Okay? So the rules are... Um, you want the hypotenuse. The length of the hypotenuse is the square is 2 times the length of the short leg. I like to actually write it like this. Short leg times 2 is the hypotenuse, and long leg times square root 3 is the... Sorry, I keep messing it up. Short leg times square root 3 is the long leg. That's what this says right there. Let, let's see it in action here. So always label short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. Um, and start with an equation that you at least know one thing about. So we know the short leg. So I can start here with the hypotenuse equation. And the short leg is 12. So the hypotenuse is 24. And that's yeah, equal to x. And then the long leg, we can use the long leg equation. So the short leg is 12, and that gets us our answer there. So, let's see if we can get a nice, there we go. So this is 12, this is 12 square root three, and this is 24. Okay. Um, here we have the long leg equaling 12. So that would be this one. This is the short leg. This is the hypotenuse. Okay. What is the length of the other sides? Simplest radical form. Okay. So we know the long leg. So these are the two formulas, by the way. We, we always just use these. So the long leg is 12. I can put in 12 for long leg and I can divide. And we can put this in simplest radical form real quick by practicing this strategy, which makes the short leg four square root three. Okay. And the hypotenuse is the short leg times two. So you just double the short leg. So it should be an eight square root three. Okay. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, these are the homework questions for part one. And then we also have part two, which is just a few more uh, practice examples. Um, and I'd like you to try the warm up, get those done. You should get, let me write down the answers for you so you can uh, work through that. Um, 4 square root 3, uh, 10 square root 3, and uh, 5 square root 2 over 2 is what you should get for those. Um, yep. And then this box is already in the notes already, but I'm going to rewrite the important equations for us, which is leg equals leg, and hypotenuse is leg times the square root of 2. So it says the length of a leg is 5 square root 3. Okay. What is the length of the other leg and the hypotenuse? Well, we know leg is leg. So um, this is also 5 square root 3. And then let's call this x, the hypotenuse. Because it's a 45, 45, 90, we know it's always true. We multiply the leg times square root 2 to get the hypotenuse, and that's x. So we have this going on, which, um, because it's multiplied, it's the same as just this. This is the fact we use to simplify radicals, is you can break them apart with multiplication. Um, so the simplest answer we can get is this. Okay, And then a softball diamond is a square, it says. So all of these are right angles, and it wants to know how far the catcher has to throw to, to second base. 
which is this distance, which if you look over here, because it's cut in half equally, this is a 45, 45, 90. And we know that this is 60. So this is 60 and we'll call this X, that length the catcher has to throw the ball. So, but we know we don't have to do any special math Pythagorean theorem. We don't have to do that because the hypotenuse is the leg times the square root of two. So it's just, so X, the hypotenuse is 60 square root of two. Okay, and then to the nearest foot, um, we could say around um, 85 feet. Okay, um, a couple more to practice and then the video will end. Um, we've seen this box before, but let's rewrite the formulas for the um, 30, 60, 90. Okay, this is the 30 degree, 60 degree. This is the long leg, this is the short leg, this is the hypotenuse. Remember too that the short leg is always opposite the, uh, the 30 degree because the smaller angle goes with the smaller side. Um, okay. Um, an escalator lifts people uh, 25 feet up and the escalator goes up at a 30 degree angle, which makes this a special right triangle question. So this would be the long leg and the hypotenuse. To the nearest foot, how far does a person travel from the bottom to the top of the escalator? That's the hypotenuse. But the short leg times two is the hypotenuse. So 25 times two is the hypotenuse. So the answer is just 50 feet. Pretty cool. Hypotenuse, short leg, long leg. Um, I know the hypotenuse, so I'm gonna start with the hypotenuse equation. Okay, short leg's x, hypotenuse is 40. And this makes x equal 20. But the short leg times square root three is the long leg. And now we know the short leg is x which is 20, so that's the long leg, 20 square root three, and this is 20. So you can see here that, and this is the last thing I'll say here, is that the 20 is the short leg. The short leg, you multiply it times square root three, and you get the long leg, and you multiply it times um, two to get 40. Okay, it's a very visual thing as well, once you practice this enough, I mean, we can see with any of these ones that we've done, um, we see that the 12, you multiply it, the short leg by two to get the hypotenuse, and we multiply it times the square root of three to get the long leg, you know? Um, so continue to practice these things, but you have the formulas now. There's four formulas, two for each. 